<laughs> the Loot Crater, St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Let's make a change for Punk! Red or the blue pal? Okay, that gingerbread man and ran the kind of book. Hey, happy readers! Welcome to Children's Books Read Aloud by Happy Cultivated. The Gingerbread Man and the Leprechaun Loose at School by Laura Murray, illustrated by Mike Lowry. Click that subscribe button for more children's books. One Monday in March, the mischief began with a hee 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 from a wee little man. We heard the sly laugh as he raced down the hall. Then he paused by our door with a wink and a call. Foe fiddly fee, you can't catch me, for I'm on a leprechaun mess making spree. I'm crafty and keen, I'm nimble and quick. I love to make mischief or play a good trick. We rushed to the hall. He was nowhere in sight, but some tiny green shamrocks trailed off to the right. It seems that our school has an unwanted guest, a magical, mischievous leprechaun pest. We quietly tiptoed our way down the hall, then spied a small message taped up on the wall. The woodwinds, the strings, percussion and brass are turned topsy-turvy, awaiting your class. Music, I whispered. The band room's this way. But when we arrived, we all stared in dismay. The sheets were all scattered, the tubas were tipped, the trumpets, violas, and flutes were all flipped. And there on the board was another green note. I grabbed it and read out his rascally quote. Fo fiddly fee, you can't catch me, for I'm as clever as clever can be. This musical mess is just the first one. It's rollicking, frolicking leprechaun fun. Let's tidy this room and then plan what to do before he comes back and makes mess number two. After our lunchtime, we'll work on a trap. Someone must capture that small cheeky chap. I slipped from the lunch line and went for a stroll to prowl all the hallways on prankster patrol. I'll search through the school as fast as I can. I can catch him. I'm the gingerbread man. I spotted more shamrocks, then heard a new noise. I pushed on a door with a sign that said, Boys! The place was a mess. Then I yelled with a blush, Where are your manners? Remember to flush! I glanced in the mirror then spied his green note. I quickly retrieved it and read what he wrote. Fo fiddly fee, you can't catch me, for I'm as sneaky as sneaky can be. I placed all the books in my favorite shape and planned a few hijinks before my escape. He's loose in the library. This is not good. He won't treat the books in the way that he should. I'm on the case, I said as I ran. I can catch him. I'm the gingerbread man. The books were all stacked in a rainbow display. They teetered and tottered and started to sway. Down they all came in an avalanche slide. They toppled so fast, I had no time to hide. Then, under the pile, 
I was startled to find something important that he'd left behind. Beside his green note was a little lost hat. I'm betting that he might be looking for that. I sprang from the books and I grabbed his hat too. Then I opened the message to read his next clue. Faux fiddly fee, you can't catch me, for I'm as tricky as tricky can be. The lunchroom, a classroom, which place should I go? Or how about a house made from gingerbread dough? My classroom? My house? I must get there first! I sped down the hall in a super fast burst. I'm on a mission. I've got a good plan. I can catch him. I'm the gingerbread man. I reached our door quickly. No sign of the elf. So I gathered supplies from a low closet shelf. I grabbed all the pencils, a ruler, and glue, then found toilet tissue and pulled it down too. I set up my trap, then I heard a small giggle. I peered at our door and I saw the knob jiggle. Faux fiddly fee, ha ha he he. Is that my magical hat that I see? With a glint in his eye, he skipped through the door, not noticing glue that was spread on the floor. Slipping and sliding, his arms whirled around as he log rolled on pencils laid out on the ground. He landed on top of the measuring stick. The ruler popped up and it gave him a flick. He slid down a mountain of soft tissue rolls, but his shoes were so sticky it stuck to his soles. Flipping and flopping, he spun round and round. Then wrapped like a mummy, he rolled to the ground. The trap did the trick. I pulled off my plan. Hello, leprechaun. I'm the gingerbread man. Faux fiddly fee. Oh my, oh me. This is a bind that I didn't foresee. I'm happy to help you, but first you must say, you'll fix up the messes you've left here today. Okay, little cookie, so crafty and keen, just hand me my hat and I promise to clean. That's quite a good trick, but I'm smarter than that. You must do it first, then I'll give you your hat. Oh, you're pretty clever, as clever as me. He winked, then he said, May your school be mess-free. With a pop and a crackle of shimmering green, the mess disappeared, and the classroom was clean. So I pulled on the tissue and spun him around, then he sprang to his hat with a leap and a bound. He sang out, I'm free, as my classmates came in. Then he did a quick jig with a wave and a grin. It's time to be going. My mischief is done. But I'll visit next March with more leprechaun fun. I'm up for the challenge. We'll have a new plan. Bring it on, Leprechaun. I'm the Gingerbread Man. Thanks for reading with Happy Court Faded. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when we post new books. Thanks for watching. Happy reading. We are the end! See you guys, I'm happy with it. Is that adorable? Don't up! You don't can say passes, Jay. I read you, you're a hacker of fox. You don't control the right to refuse service. Don't cheat.
so be it. Uh, uh, Hello? It's just me. Hey, you're gonna have to wait your turn like everyone else, Peter Maid.